What's up, Price Spot Nation, and welcome back to the channel. As always, it's your co-host, Ben Kane, here to talk to you about a different product today. Not actually a dietary uh, supplement for once, but a topical roll-on from Steel Relief, from Steel Fit, called Steel Relief. Welcome to Price Plow. Today is going to be a little bit different because on most dietary supplement videos, at least with me, I like to go through the full panel. That's why I prefer full disclosure. Now, this Steel Relief from Steel Fit has actually got a... Uh, drug facts panel on it so the full dosage is not really explained as well as also because it is a roll-on um, dosing isn't exactly accurate all the time you're rolling it on I, I put a copious amount on I couldn't tell you how much is actually going out to my body now the third reason is gonna be a little bit different is because we're actually looking at active ingredients as well as inactive ingredients so I'm gonna go over the three main active ingredients only two of them are listed on the active ingredients but I'm gonna th uh, name a third one in just for the sake of this video and then I'm gonna go through the inactive ingredients talk to you about all the essential oils homeopathic ingredients and other auxiliary stuff added in here to make your life just a little bit more comfortable now I'm gonna make sure I say this at the beginning of the video this product was sent to me for free steel fit saw all the heavy lifting that I've been doing they wanted to send this out for me and see how I like it. We do have an ongoing business relationship with them with a the coupon, so for the record, so all the lawyers out there can be happy, this uh, definitely is a sponsored video. However, I am gonna tell you guys that this has made my life a lot easier as of recently. I just started a new powerlifting meat prep and things are getting heavy, things are getting sore, and Steel Relief has definitely come to my rescue in more than one case. Now, for the active ingredients, technically on the label here, they list active ingredients, lidocaine, hydrochloride, and menthol. I'm also gonna add on here, on the front of the bottle, one of the main products that they claim to be in this, as it's called Relief, is hemp-derived isolate. Now, hemp-derived isolate is an isolate derived from hemp that contains cannabinoids. If you actually look up the testing that is on the top of the bottle, the QR code, you will find that it's completely THC-free and mostly containing CBD. Now, cannabinoids are helpful, and if you check out our blog post, you can see all the studies cited for this, for reducing inflammation, for reducing um, acute discomfort due to inflammation, and overall helping calm your body and recover from heavy training or any kind of trauma that has happened to it. Uh, I personally have tried a few different forms of cannabinoid containing products. Um, this one is personally my favorite for the purpose of what I'm doing because it contains these other two active ingredients that I'm going to get into. It's pretty well known what cannabinoids can do for you in 2019. A lot of people are using them for all sorts of different medical reasons, but for an athletic purpose, we know that it helps calm and help with inflammation in localized areas, which is what we're looking for here. Um, if it is able to be um, consumed or put into a systemic type situation, it can help with sleep, discomfort in the stomach, stuff like that. I'm not too sure that this is actually being absorbed into the body and looked at in that kind of form. However, we're definitely feeling an anti-inflammatory effect here um, in a local fashion. Now, moving into the two actual active ingredients listed here, lidocaine hydrochloride 4% and menthol 1%. Lidocaine hydrochloride is obviously known as a local anesthetic. If it's used in a surgical setting, it's gonna be put together with a few other local anesthetics, but in a roll-on type situation here where it's non-medical, it's non-surgical, it can be used on its own. Now, this is going to help with local discomfort, local inflammation. It's gonna help numb the area. It's not actually going to help um, fix the actual issue, but it's gonna make you a little bit more comfortable um, while the other things are helping out with that, or you're actually seeking help. So for instance, for the last four weeks, I was nursing a pec injury. I had a lot of issues in here. I was rolling this on in copious amounts and then seeking PT, massage therapy, stretching, all that kind of stuff. The lidocaine really helped out with the short-term um, discomfort that I was having due to all of that inflammation. Now, the other active ingredient here, menthol, has obviously, we all know, a cooling effect. It's, you know, if you look at Bengay or any kind of liniment, it's going to cool down slash heat at the same time. It's a weird, odd feeling, but helps with that discomfort. It's going to help you not pay attention to the pain. So help you make you feel a little bit better. Maybe be able to train through it a little bit, but um, I'm not going to say that this is going to have you back in the gym with a full range of motion right away. It's just going to help you be a little bit more comfortable. These three ingredients here, hemp isolate, lidocaine, hydrochloride, and menthol 
are the active ingredients that are going to actually really short term make you feel much better. Now, moving into the inactive ingredients here, there's a lot, there's, um, there's a host of different ingredients in here. Anything from homeopathic uh, ingredients, which I'm going to jump into, to all the way down to like peppermint oil, an essential oil that helps with discomfort and inflammation. I'm only going to pick out a few ones here because to talk about the oils, there's a lot of stuff in here. But the uh, few in here that are my actual favorites are going to be the following. Horse chestnut, curcumin, turmeric, and boswellia. These three ingredients in here are actually proven with actual studies to be anti-inflammatory. My favorite one on top of all three of those is going to actually be Arnica Montana. Now, Arnica Montana, there's a study that if you check out in our blog, actually was put in a study against ibuprofen and a gel solution. When put against each other, there was no difference in between the two in actual inflammation help. The two of them actually found the same help for people with osteoarthritis. Um, a few years ago, when I was in a pretty bad motorcycle wreck, I was taking a lot of ibuprofen to help with the pain and it was recommended to me to take Arnica instead because it is less taxing on the kidneys and liver. I um, forget which one the ibuprofen affects, but it's easier on the body. Now, the thing being here is that if you are an athlete, you don't want to be taking NSAIDs like ibuprofen because it actually lowers muscle protein synthesis. A product like this will help with your inflammation, help with your discomfort, and get you back in the gym quicker without losing that muscle protein synthesis that can come along with NSAIDs. The other three ingredients, like I mentioned, boswellia, curcumin, and horse chestnut are proven ingredients to help with inflammation, um, especially the curcumin. We all know that turmeric is an awesome, very powerful anti-inflammatory. It's actually in a lot of joint formulas to speed up the recovery process and bring down uh, inflammation in the body. So, Thanks so much, guys, for checking this out. There are a lot of ingredients here. If you want the full breakdown of all the essential oils, I didn't want to bore you too much with them, check out our blog. It's going to be linked right below. And let me know what you think below. Have you ever used a top, uh, topical roll-on before? Does this stuff help you out? Do hemp drive isolates or cannabinoids have a place in your regimen? Comment below. Thanks so much, guys. And as always, have a great day. Welcome to Price Plow. 